much help I can give you. Daddy didn't keep many records in the early years. <laughs> Not in his later years, either. Now, I've heard lots of stories about the early years. The Digger Barnes Jock Ewing feud is legend around these parts. Now, Jock and Digger were partners, and now they met riding the rails during the Depression when they were still practically kids. How they worked the oil fields and went wildcatting together and hit it big. And now they broke up over a... Uh, what? Some say it was a deal of some kind. Some even say it was over my mama. <laughs> you ever hear of anything so ridiculous? My mama and Digger Barnes? <laughs> well, you know the tall tale is an art form in Texas. You see, that's the trouble. You can't tell what's real and not real in all these stories. Now, one thing I know for sure, Digger Barnes did try to kill my daddy, and that's no tall tale, because I was there. I don't know why daddy put up with Digger. I, I asked him once, uh, hell, more than once. He's a drunk, I'd say. Uh, a failure. Man, it tried to kill you. Why don't you just snuff him out? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy'd look off into space and remember, and, and he'd say he didn't know where he'd be if he hadn't met up with Digger Barnes. Nobody does it alone, he'd say. Once he even said, you wouldn't be here if it weren't for Digger Barnes. Well, I don't know what he meant by that, and I don't even think I want to know. Of course, I am my father's son. I mean, I, I tolerate Cliff Barnes, don't I? <laughs> the way he keeps the feud going. Well, I guess having the Ewings to rail against in public makes him feel less of a failure. Well, I'm a sentimental man. I figure if my daddy put up a digger, I can put up a cliff for the, the sake of tradition, if nothing else. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you more. It's a, it's an interesting project, but I, I don't know how you're going to get at the truth about the early years. Uh, Digger's dead, and daddy's gone. I guess there's just a lot we'll never know. <clears throat> That's too bad. Would have made a hell of an adventure story. Don't bother interviewing Cliff Barnes. He'll talk your head off, but he doesn't know anything. Don't you believe it? 
Truman's gonna run again. And I wouldn't bet against him if I were you. Not Harry. Damn fool has guts. Junior, where are you going? Real nice party, Mama. Hey, you take your turns with the little one, you hear? I'm going there right now, Mama. Junior! Eisenhower. Nobody will get him run. Nope. Anyhow, nobody knows if Ike's a Democrat or Republican. Nobody knows what the hell he is coming here for. <laughs> and that's why I like him, I want you to know. <laughs> In one more minute, Junior, I was going to leave. Timing's everything. Junior. Ain't no one called me Junior since I was 16, sugar. You're nowhere near 16 yet, and you know it. <laughs> Lorette? Your sense of humor is about as original as the sin I'd be pleased to commit with you. Junior. I'm sorry, I mean J.R. Junior, wait a minute. What's the matter, sugar? The matter is, you're just a baby and don't know anything. Oh, you know that's not true. And if you just stop pretending to be so smart, I might teach you a thing or two. Don't exactly need lessons. Then I'll be on my way. I'll take the lessons. <laughs> that's more like it. Oh, I, I didn't know if we should come. Oh, well, of course you should have, Maggie. So, these are Willard's youngsters. How is Willard? Well, not so good ever since his marriage broke up. Well, you've been a good sister to him, Maggie. Well, I love these kids. Like they were my own. I was hoping he'd come today. He never come here. No, I don't suppose he would. Come on. Shoot Mr. Haskins for that. You did say he'd come to the damn barbecue, Willard. No, no. Well, why didn't you? Well, I guess I forgot. You didn't forget. You're well, scared. Well, that's just dumb. You think you don't know what to say to those folks? Well, you do. You can talk about those filthy oil wells that you love so much. It's all they're talking about back there anyway. And if you're worried about looking presentable, I brought you a proper suit of clothes. Well, what? Who? My brothers. Aw. Uh. You gotta stop thinking that they're better than you. They're not. They're the same. You're even a landowner. Well, how you figure that? My daddy gave your daddy a parcel land, and when your daddy died, my daddy said you'd get it. And if it's rich folks you're afraid of, well, forget it, because nobody's rich anymore. Depression's making us all as poor as church mice. Depression's why Haskins is drilling. That's how badly he needs money. Daddy says he understands, Mr. Haskins, but he'd burn South Fork before he'd drill. Just like the Russians burn Russia, so Napoleon couldn't get it. What? So Napoleon couldn't get the oil? Their land. 
They burned their land so Napoleon couldn't have it. You got all on the brain, Willard, just like everybody else around here. So aren't you gonna look? Nice. Not bad. Just like everybody else. You go on, get in the truck. You clean those boots, I'll drive. Well, these sleeves a little long. And then roll them up. My brother making a fool out of himself with that silly girl, Sherry Simmons. She cut herself, she'd bleed butterscotch. from there this minute. Exactly what were they doing? I don't know. I didn't even know they were there. <sighs> Willard, you take it too seriously. What? Everything. Everybody's clumsy sometimes. Everybody gets tongue-tied now and then. Everybody does embarrassing things. God. <laughs> you just think of Sherry Simmons just now. Now, that's what I call embarrassing. I shamed you. Oh, you can't shame me. We're friends. Well, maybe not as good friends as Sherry Simmons and her friend, but... I love you, <laughs> Oh, God, I wish Garrison could see this. <gasps> Lordy, Lordy. Willard? Willard? You all right? You coming back out? No. Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. Well, I guess the party's ending anyway. I'll see you tomorrow, Willard. Bye. Was it one of you? Pardon, Miss Ellie? Oh, nothing. Night.
Don't you laugh at me. Ellie. <laughs> Ooh, the girl took her hand off. What are you doing here, you lunatic? I told you I loved you, and you laughed. Oh, God, Willard, what you do with your hand? I, I don't know. Oh, God. I swear, you are the one person who should not go near liquor. Didn't you know you were hurt? No. What are you doing here? I want to know why you laughed. When? When I told you I loved you. I don't have to explain it. Well, I don't remember that. When did you say that? Today, I told you, and you laughed. Well, I didn't hear it. How many times do I have to tell you if you're going to speak? Speak up. Now, you better go on home. We'll talk tomorrow. But I, I love you, Ellie. Oh, don't be silly. We're too young to be in love. No, we're not. <gasps> God, Willard, not so rough. <sighs> oh, don't cry, Willard. I hate that. I want you to kiss me. I do. But gently. All right. See how nice it is when it's gentle? All right. I love you, Ellie. I love you too, my lady. Mm. 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 <laughs> this is very improper. I hope you know that. Mm. Mm. Willard, no. Mm. Oh, no. Not there, Willard. Not so fast. Willard, please. Garrison. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, Garrison! It's only Willard! Willard, come back! Stop! Stop! Oh! What the hell is going Ellie, on? Ellie, what? Garrison! All right, you guys, let's get him in the house and be gentle with him. Easy does it. You're such a dope, Garrison. I saw what I saw. Oh, you don't see anything. You don't even see things right in front of your face. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just forget it. Ellie. It was nothing, Garrison, all right? Nothing happened. It was just Willard. Well, that ought to hold for now, but... Make him come by the office and get a proper cast. You know, wrists can be tricky. We'll leave him here for the night. Oh, fine. Not likely you could wake him up anyway, drunk as he is. Hey, they grow up fast, don't they? Well, uh, maybe not too fast. Thanks for coming by, Ted. My pleasure. Good night, Doc. She is growing up fast. Willard's becoming a menace, Aaron. I'll take care of Willard. They look pretty good, Daddy. Yeah, they're healthy, all right. This is all there is, though. I remember when we used to ride out here, and we could see cattle all the way down to the river and up on the hillside on the Haskins place. That was before the drought. Thank God it's over. Now if the anthrax will just leave us be. Ellen, you know how close I was to Willard's daddy. I know, I know. Henry saved your life. Now when did that become insignificant? Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. I wanted to give him a piece of land. That very piece right over there. He got insulted when I made the offer. Real proud, huh? Too proud. Almost had to break his arm to get him to take a pair of handmade boots for Christmas one time. Anyway, he never let me bring up the land again until he was dying. Did he know he was dying? Yeah. Near the end, I could tell he was fretting about Willard. The boy's always been kind of a misfit. Henry was worried about what would happen to him after he was gone. So I told him that he always had a job in a home at our place and 
when he was ready to go out on his own, I'd give him the deed to the property and help him out. He argued a little, but I think he was glad. Seemed to take a load off his mind. You're going to turn the land over to Willard now. Is that what you're trying to tell me, Daddy? Yep. Willard hasn't been acting like a man ready to go out on his own. Well, maybe independence will change him. You just want him away from me. Yeah. He did scare me a little. Let me tell him, Daddy. Daddy's boots are gone. Poor Willard. Please. Snuff him out, Daddy! Lock it in, what's all he is? There ain't no sin in that! Shut up, Junior. Be careful, Don't let him go. Willard. Willard. Please, Willard. Call the sheriff. Oh, All right. Got it, Judge. He's up. He's up. Look at him. Take it easy, boy. That can't hurt anybody. Get him inside the house. Find a damn doctor. Y'all get out of the way there. Move out of the way for us. Okay, boy. Everything's fine now. Nobody got hurt. Come on along now. How about some more ribs? Hey, Ben, break's over. Give us some of that good Western music. You know, I set this wrist 18 years ago. Didn't heal right. I thought you fellas never made a mistake. Mistake? Hell. I set a temporary. He was supposed to come in and see me and get a real cast, but he never did. Uh, I knocked him out pretty good. He'll probably sleep 10 or 12 hours. I'll send you the bill. Right. What a day, Digger. Why now? After 15 years.
forget to leave the boots. This ain't your business. I uh, know. I could have. Really? I could have. for me, kid. Why? What's here? My brother, working in oil fields. Oil fields? They got work here? That's what I'm gonna find out. Well, can, can I come? Somebody gonna steal from you anyhow. This way you get to feel good. Go ahead. I mean, I can't understand what they like about ranching, what they got against oil. First, you gotta take care of the cattle, dumb as they is. One of them gets sick, it spreads, there goes everything you got. If they do stay healthy, you gotta run them up to Abilene or whatever, lose half of them. You finally take your profit, and then you gotta start all over. Texas has been doing it for a long time. Oh, yeah, but oil is what Texas is about these days. Drill a hole, hit a gusher, bam, you can buy yourself an island somewhere. <laughs> that easy? I ain't saying it's easy. I'm saying it's smart. We agreed to these terms! Yeah! We never agreed for you people to make more than us. Yeah! We 
we've been through this a million times. And we could go with a million more. Did you or didn't you all agree to sign these leases? That was before we read the small print. Now you people are welching. You what? You want to keep all the welcher, you stay. Let's just sign the leases and get on with it. Hey. What are you doing, you old dog? Hey, hey, you folks with the big lots, he's trying to swindle us folks with the little lots. That's a joke. We've all got little lots. You got a big little lot, and all I got me is a medium little lot. John, you can buy me a drink? And it's Sunday, you can't buy any liquor. Besides, you haven't had anything to eat. <laughs> now, folks, you all voted for a community agreement, but you're gonna have to decide what that means. Now, you can share the royalties equally, or you can share them according to the size of your lot. Doesn't matter to me which. Now, I have all my equipment here. You've seen it sitting out here. Tomorrow morning, we want to start drilling in Regal, or I'll take the equipment and drill someplace else. That doesn't matter to me either. I'm going to step outside, and I want you all to vote your minds. This fellow's part of my crew. Uh, this here's uh, my brother, Jock, and uh, that's his partner, uh, Willard Barnes. Hey, okay. How you doing? <clears throat> They're yours if you want them, boss. You have to do something about that hand, lad. I sympathize, but I need able-bodied men. Sheriff must be calming them down in there, huh? Well, I wish he'd hurry. He's supposed to start digging in the morning. Oh, yeah. Where? Right here in the middle of town. Well, how about it, boys? Three meals a day, roof over your head. Even if we come up dry, you won't. You won't starve for a while. Yeah, well, you're gonna come up dry. What's that? I said there's no oil here. How can you tell? Just can. Oh, yeah, well. I'll pay you back, okay? Who the hell are you? I mean, you look like just any other bum to me. Yeah, well, maybe so, but uh, it's not all here. Well, I like to hear all sides of the story. But there is oil to the east and oil to the west. You draw a straight line between them, it comes right down through the middle of this street, sides of which. Jason Ewing here is one of the best mineral men in the business. Checked out the soil. It's good. Yeah, well, signs might be right. This place is wrong. There's no oil here. Good, Sam. You boys think about it. Here. Thank God the drought is over. Now, if the anthrax will just leave us alone, we'll be okay. Come on, little baby. Come on. Everything's gonna be just fine. You can stay out here and die now, can you? So come on. Come on, baby. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, don't. Ellie. Honey, this won't help. No, it's okay, Daddy. This one's just fine if we could just get him back. Don't cry, we'll find <laughs> Do you see me crying? Keep in touch. Once I get some money back from New York, we'll be back in business. Doc? Yes. 
Like you said, at least we didn't starve. Adios, Willard. Adios, Ed. I guess you know now I was right. I sure do. You're telling me every day since we started drilling, too. Well, he should have listened to me. Maybe so. Yeah, maybe Willard here's just got the nose. Well, I hope so, because he's the worst crew man I ever saw. I don't even know that. <laughs> just need to know where there's all. Well, let's just say you know where it isn't. Now we gotta see if you know where it is. Come on, boys. Big time. Nice change after all these third-rate outfits we've been working for. Howdy, how you doing? Well, they say we can start Monday if we want to. Uh, you want to make that stop now, Jock, or you want to wait? Now if it ain't too much trouble. Ain't no trouble, it's just on the other side of town. Jock talking to in there? His wife. Jock's married? Yep. He never said nothing. Yeah, well, they's always sweethearts. Jock and Amanda. He married her even though he knew the older she got, the more she'd get like her mama. Like her mama? What's her mama like? Looney. I'm not being stubborn for stubborn sake, Lucille. I'm just looking out for my girl. I know you are safe, but there comes a time when you've got to make a decision. I I love the creams the best. I know. See, see that woman over there? Don't you remind you of Miss Brannigan, that old lady with the garden? Yeah. Yeah, she does. A little. Everybody always said Miss Brannigan was sweet on Mr. Trippett. That awful druggist. They weren't much of a pair. I didn't say they were a pair. I just said she was sweet on him, that's all. Papa once hit Mr. Trippett. Cause he said something not so nice about Mama. But you were always sweet on me. Weren't you, Chuck? And we were always a pair. You and me. You sure were. And you'll always take care of me. I'm trying, Amanda. I got a job next week. If it lasts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to a better place. You'll always take care of me. But it's nice here, though. Don't you think so?
What is it? What's he doing? Shh. <laughs> what are you listening to? I'm not listening to nothing. Mighty sorry looking farms. Yeah. <clears throat> they got troubles here like every place else. Yeah, well, they got all here, too. What? I said there's all here. <laughs> How do you know? Just do. <laughs> You know, there are guys that can do that. You just stand on a piece of ground, they tell you there's oil here, there ain't oil here. I don't know how they do it. They don't even know how they do it. They just know. How do you know Willard's one of them? He was right about Regal, wasn't he? Could have been a lucky guess. <laughs> Maybe. Hey! Hey, boy! Come over here! It's your farm? A oh, share crop, sir. Well, uh, who's the landlord? Uh, Miss Newman, sir. Well, let's go see him. That's fast. Miss Newman, he owned most of the uh, property around Pride? Uh, yes, sir, most. Well, let's go to him then. You got a lease? Oh, uh, yes, sir, I do. In right? Yes, sir. What you got on your mind, Jack? What you planning, Jock? What's going on? I'm not planning anything. Just trying to find out something. What'd you find out, Jason? Not good. I've been at the assayers' office all afternoon. Don't make it too easy for you to find what you're looking for, I can tell you. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Eat something before you lose all your money. I ain't hungry. Eat something anyway. You know how much you're going to drink. So it's uh, just like a sharecropper said. This guy Newman, he owns more farmland and pride than anybody. Why don't we go to Newman's then? Because he's already doing all kinds of business with the oil company. Besides, the most we can get out of him is that... Uh... You were saying? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, the most we could probably get out of him is a finder's fee, and Newman's not even obliged to pay us that. Well, maybe there's another way. You and Newman split the crop 50-50. Yes, sir, except for the seed and the tools uh, that come in the marsh yeah. Mm. yeah, that's usual. That's a standard form contract they use in these parts. You can pick them up in the dime store already printed up like that. Thanks, Seth. Jock? What are you thinking? That piece of paper says Seth Foster has to give Newman half of everything that comes from this land. That don't mean all. It says yield. Now, that's the only word. You check it out yourself. Yield. Tenant and landlord share equal the, the yield from the land. I don't know, Jack. Hell, I don't know either. Not for sure, anyhow. I'm not a lawyer, but I can read, though. And what I read makes me wonder what a real lawyer could do with it. Why don't we just go see Newman? Because we can't, Willard. Newman's already got a deal with the oil companies. Now, we tell him there's oil here, he doesn't even have to thank us for our trouble. Well, trouble is dealing with his tenant and not with him. Now, I think we'll are right about that. We may be going? taking on more than we can handle. Get back to work, Benjamin. What do you think, Foster? You got an appetite for trouble? No, sir, I don't even know what you're all talking about. Cut it out. Now, you're not stupid, and I'm not either. I got a family. I try to stay out of trouble. After harvest, after you split the crop with Newman, 
after you pay Newman for seed and tools, how much cash you end up with? <laughs> Bet he owes Newman cash. More money every year. Much more than you can ever pay back, huh? Ain't that much now, soon will be. So how are you gonna stay out of trouble, Foster? Debt like that's the worst kind of trouble. The kind you never get out of. My kind of trouble might make you rich. Or get me killed. Wildcat ain't like panning for gold. I mean, you don't just start out poor and all of a sudden you strike it rich. You gotta have money every step of the way. Well, you should have said something. Just been wasting our time. Well, maybe not. I know some folks might be willing to back us up. Ed Porter. Yeah, well, the trouble with Ed is, he comes in, it's his show. We'd do a lot better if we was on our own. Boy, if we had $10,000, we could get started. I only have $50. How much we need? 10 grand. I'll tell you what, I feel lucky today. <laughs> if I had me a little betting money. <clears throat> Come on, just a little. That about cover it. <clears throat> hey, now wait a Get minute. Get it back, Jason. There must have been more than a hundred dollars nah, there. Ah, forget it. <laughs> Got some whiskey. Maybe I ought to stop it. Well, the way I figure it, little brother, is uh, if we go with Willard or we don't. If we're gonna go with him, we better go all the way. Hooks over five. <laughs> Got some more whiskey? Come it up. Ah. Huh? Thank you, my dear. Here you go. For you. Here. Well, <laughs> How much you reckon he's won? Plenty. You think we ought to stop him? No, oh, it's like I said. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. I hope you're right. One <clears> hundred. <throat> you got there? Uh. 8,604. Oh, 
Well, come on. Bet, full, what's it gonna be? Maybe I'll just fold. You can't fold now. <gasps> you make me think you got a good hand there, mister. <laughs> or else I'm a hell of an actor. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 8,000. 600. What'd you say, honey? Four. <laughs> One, two, three. Got it. Table stakes. I got maybe two thousand. Right. Maybe two thousand. Look, I got a lease with Petrolux Oil. If it hits, maybe worth uh, five, six thousand a year. How I know it's gonna hit? Hey, you're a gambler, right? <laughs> My lease against your rate, thousand. <laughs> no, Willard. Yeah. Uh, you must have a pretty good hand there, mister. Oh, come on. It's worth it. Just to see his hand. Uh, 8,604. Come on. Let's see it. <laughs> oh. <yeah. laughs> Even if that card's a jack, my full house beats your full house. <laughs> oh. No! You've been cheating, man. You've been cheating me all night. <laughs> You said I could have it all. <laughs> yeah? Did he get what he paid for? <laughs> Wasn't my fault if he didn't. I get paid for my time. The services are thrown in free. Look, it was here for him. It just didn't know how. That ain't my fault. What are you, is good fairy? Look, mister. He said I could have it. He was feeling good. He said money didn't mean nothing to him. He was just playing for me. Honest. Then I guess it's yours. with last night. She stole all my money. She didn't steal it. He told her she could have it. What? Didn't you? Well, well, what if I did? I was drunk. Nobody made you get drunk. Did it on your own. You do something stupid, you pay the price. Wait, 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 wait. What, what'd she do? Cut you in? Have some coffee. Eat a biscuit. Oh, I ain't hungry. Hunger's got nothing to do with it. Just fill up your mouth. Keep it busy, because you keep talking the way you're doing. You're going to be spitting teeth in you a know, minute. You know, you sound this is my thing for you, Barnes. You don't have to be drunk to talk stupid. 
Now, one of these days, you're gonna make somebody really mad. Now, have some coffee, eat some biscuit. Oh, 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 hey, take it to the oil well, boys. Come here, son. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. Our partner here gave all the money to the whore. What? You stupid, lousy drunk. What'd you hit me for? Hit him. He's the one that gave it to her. He let her have it. What? Now hold on, Jason. You brought... Could somebody call the Between the ones drinking and the other ones honor, I don't know why I hang out with you guys. Uh, Cause you want to be rich. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's it. <laughs> oh, oh. There they are. Come on, they're waiting. Uh -huh. I'm real worried. Yeah. How you doing, Jason? You just take them back what seems to be the there. trouble? We got a bunch of scared farmers. Sharecroppers are worried about meeting like this. Uh, yeah, but it's Sunday, you know. Y'all gonna be in church anyway, so it won't look like it's so curious. Now, if Mr. Porter's wells come in, you'll receive one in every three barrels of oil. But the farms don't belong to us. That's right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, it matters to Newman, and you can bet on that. Yes. Yes. Now, half of everything that comes from your land is yours. You got that in writing. Is that so, Mr. Culver? It's absolutely right. The law is on your side. <laughs> in fact, Pennsylvania, 1908. Pennsylvania? This is Texas. And in Texas, the laws are gun in our face. The court will recognize this precedent, this example. Now, every time a case like this has come up in court, the tenant has won. Well, that may be, but first you gotta get to court. Yeah. All right. Times are hard. Most of us folks don't get our hands on 10 cash dollars in a year's time. Yes, right. But we're better off than some. We got roofs over our heads Lord. and land to grow food. Newman and all the white folks, they ain't gonna let us have this oil. And they ain't gonna let us get to the law. It ain't up to them to let you. <laughs> he ain't from around here. <laughs> 
all or no all, it don't matter to us. If we work with you, we're gonna lose what we got. I lose what I got. Brother Foster. I said if I if I have to, I lose what I got. You lose what you got. Your life. Yeah, I, I take that chance. Times is hard, like like the preacher said. We got more than most. That's right too, but uh, we ain't got much. Every year we work harder and come out with less and Owen Newman more. And that's a truth well. Ain't no end to it. We all know that. But that's how things is. That's how it is, and I live my life, raise my children good, thank the Lord for what I got, and hope he give me something better in the next life. Praise the Lord. But these men come in here and they say that uh, maybe that's not the way it is. Maybe there's something better right now. In this here life, I reckon we got to find out. Because if we don't, how are we going to go back to just living? We can't. I can't anyhow. I can't live knowing there was a chance for something better, and I didn't take it because I was afraid. Says he'd burn South Fork before he drove all. Doesn't look bad, Daddy. It's got a nice shape when you look at it as a shape. It's all in your outlook. Sorry, Daddy. That's all right, Ellie. Nobody ever said cattle was pretty. Mrs. Foster, this gentleman's a private detective. We're not expecting any trouble, but he'll be around just in case. Pick a spot yet, Willard? Shush. We picked it out the first time we came by. Well, I sure hope he's one of them. Got a lot riding on it. Get about a section of ten pike and put it down in the hole. We can get over there and get it. We're running out of time. You, mister! What in the hell is going on here? Mr. Newman, I reckon. Who the hell are you? My name's Ed Porter. We've been expecting you. I bet you have. I got called on this all the way down to Austin. I'm an oil man. You might have some good news. I got an old man I do business with and you ain't one of them. How do you come to drill here without my say-so? We took a sublease on your tenant's land. It's legal. Legal. My land, not his. Find Foster. 
It's up on the derrick. You let niggers up there and you call yourself an oil man? Now I want this took down. Everything. Foster, get down from there. I think maybe we better let our lawyers handle this. I don't need lawyers to handle things on my property. I handle things my way. I think we're looking at a blue norther right in the face. Sales are smart lorry, Gene. We got him a court order. We can't interfere. You're the sheriff. Yeah, but they got the Texas Rangers and a licensed detective and a writ. I don't care who they got. I want them off the land. Oh, hold it right there. Hold it right there. I hope you hit oil real soon, Ed. Why? Landlords are not too happy. Those Texas Rangers don't exactly have their hearts in it either. All we've got is that private detective until he figures out we can't afford to pay him anymore. Does that mean it's going to be a gusher? I thought so an hour ago, but now. Well, bad well, that's all. Don't mean they're all bad. Just this one. All this time, I've been dreading the time when the oil would come. I forgot to worry about what would happen if it didn't. How's the drilling going, boys? Drag it rich yet? Let's take us a look at this here oil well. Why, that don't look like no oil well to me. That looks like a... Like a mud hole. <laughs> Priscilla? I noticed she only got one detective left. Yes, sir. And no oil. There's oil. Hey, Benjamin the expert. Well, expert, listen to this. It don't matter to you whether there's oil or not. If there's oil, it's mine. And if there's not, well, to my way of thinking, you've broken our agreement. Either way, you folks are through here. Ah! <laughs> All this time I've been dreading the time when the oil would come. I forgot to worry about what would happen if it didn't. I can understand the nigger's not going better. One of your cronies gonna give it up. There's no oil here. There's oil. You've already dug close to a thousand feet down. Yeah, we're gonna keep digging until it comes. 
It's there. It's there. You say so. <laughs> 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 2,000 foot of hole, 1,800 foot of casing, and we come up dry. Bring in more gear here. It's going to cost me $10,000, and I don't have it. I am telling you that I there is... I know what you're here. telling me. We've already gone too deep on a hunch. What a damn mess we're leaving. Nothing much or nothing gained, Jock. Just one of the risks you take. Besides, we can pretty well clean up most of this mess. Reminded me of something I said a while ago in a little town west of here called Regal. Uh -huh. I said, This boy is no digger. <laughs> By which I meant that this fella who was working for me at the time had absolutely no talent for wildcatting and was, in fact, the worst oil man I'd ever known. <laughs> <laughs> that fella is this man right here. It gives me great pride to stand in front of all you witnesses and eat my words. Gentlemen, I give you Digger Barn. Now, now, as all you folks know, uh, Digger Barnes here spent the best part of the day looking over your farms, and, well, from what he tells me, there's quite a bit of oil to be had around here. I was just about to suggest to my clients that we sign a community agreement. Now, what that means, folks, is that you'll all be equal partners. You'll be sharing royalties 
and responsibilities. And another thing, a community agreement will keep you unified in case of... in case of a challenge from the outside. Good idea. Count me in. Now, ain't anybody gonna offer me a beer? We're all gonna get rich! When's this meeting? Night after next at the church. You think Newman's on a level? Old company's probably told him they don't want any trouble. Hmm. Can you handle this? I mean, I kind of like to see my girl. Sure. Come on, boy. Digger. Come on, Digger Barnes. Hey, up there, boy. Come on, man. Bitty bye. Put you to bed. Yeah. Hey, boy. Keep it up. Nah. Oh, Ellie. Tell her I made good. I'm a success, Ellie. Oh. Ellie, I'm a success. I wanna, I wanna call Ellie. Mr. Ewan? Yeah? I've taken the uh, liberty of changing oh. your room. Oh. Why? Well, I thought you might like quarters more suitable for conferences, a uh, longer stay. Ellie. I haven't made a penny Ellie. yet. Oh, I don't think I mentioned money, Mr. Oh. Ewan. We understand all business here. We cater to an allman's needs. Uh, just to take a look. Oh, There's no obligation, of course. Oh, no. Ellie. Ellie. <clears throat> and now there are uh, two bedrooms. Cigar? Thank you. <laughs> we'll take it temporary. <clears throat> Just to celebrate. We'll let you know if we want to keep it. Good night. Good night. One more time. Oh, that's I'm used to this. I'm the, I'm beginning to feel better. Commissioner of Agriculture, John Wyatt, was at the sale too. He dropped by just for a short while to warn these cattlemen of a mighty serious situation. Hey, Jack, wake up! What? What? Mary! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Congratulations, man! <laughs> right? Oh, listen, he has a fine room. No well, it's, it's not Why my style. Why get married in a room like this? Sure. Sure you could. Hey, hey. Sure you could. You gonna stand up for me, right? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and we got that meeting tomorrow night. You know that. Oh yeah. Well, that's okay. My bride will wait up for me, won't you, darling? <laughs> hey. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ago. Oh, yeah. What can I do for you? Nothing. I can do for you. Your partner? Ed Porter. No, the younger one. 
My brother, Jason. He's your brother? Yeah. What of it? Well, come on, what? He's, th he's thrown in with Newman. What? Keep walking. Now, there's no way Newman and his pals are going to split anything with their Negroes. How do you know? <laughs> in my business, you find things out. But there, there's a meeting coming up. Tomorrow night at the church. Yeah. Newman and his buddies are going to teach them a lesson. What kind of lesson? <laughs> Maybe a couple of, de a couple of dead bodies me, hanging from trees. Maybe a couple of burned down farms. Why are you telling me this? I figure I owe you. You take care now, you hear? Out to see Seth. He tells me some of the colored folks they're a little nervous about meeting at the church tomorrow night. They got nothing to be worried about. Yeah, I know, but they don't trust Newman. Some of them think he's got something up his sleeve. It's all been arranged, Jack. Yeah, I know, but I thought that maybe if we met out at Pride Field, it might make them feel a little better. You know? Feel better if they met at Pride Field. All right. I'll do it. I'll arrange it. And so, by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas on it, I now pronounce... Now, now just a minute. Now, hold on there. I, mm. I haven't said it yet. Mm. 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 Oh, well, <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. Uh, Thank you. Oh, uh, you don't mind, you know, we got to meet tonight. And, uh, we haven't got too much time left here, so... And besides, uh, we waited, you know? <laughs> share and share like with us. Uh, and he's stupid, because we'll win in court. If we live to get to court. Maybe I ought to go for the sheriff. The sheriff's one of them. Now, if you just listen to me, everything's going to be all right. And we're going to get up and leave. By the front door. Stay together. You better be all right. Stay together behind me. What are you planning to do, Jack? I'm going to try to lead these people out of here. Now, there are too many of us to kill. And I don't think those men outside want a massacre on their hands. Do you, Jason? I reckon not.
Hey, Jock. There's your brother. Don't you want to say goodbye to your brother? Shut up, Digger. Don't you want to wish your flesh and blood good luck? Not in front of his wife, man. I didn't think we had a chance of getting one's ours. Yeah? Yeah, that's why I did it. I wasn't sure they'd let us out of here with the oil. I wasn't even sure we'd get out of here alive. You could have talked to me. Instead of selling me out. Yeah, I didn't sell you out. Anything I'd have got, we'd have split. No, we got nothing. Thanks to you. Thanks to me, or well, thanks to you, Jock. You and your damn honor. I think it's some kind of white knight or something. Taking up with a bunch of sharecroppers and losers and marrying loons and running away. Jason. Like... No, I'm sorry if you think my honor is something I got to overcome. Now, maybe it is. You let me find that out on my own. Oh, you ain't found that out yet? Yeah, maybe you never will find it out. Maybe you're just a better man than the rest of us. That's fine. You should be expecting so much from the is all. Who are you? Roscoe. Petrolux Oil. Did you ever see anything like it? Anything so damn stupid? Grown men playing with torches. Hell, kids know better than that. You know how much money went up in flames there? Huh? Well, you don't want to know either. I can promise you that. Well, I don't want any more trouble. We'd like to buy your leases. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Because our lives ain't worth a plug of nickel in this town. What about, what about the tenants? They can pay the tenants direct. 
I expect they won't want to live around here anymore anyhow. Well, let me know here. I'm down at the liquor control office while the company rebuilds. Digger's luck. Okay, folks, one more picture now. Look this way. Give me a big smile. That's it. Okay, that was a good one. Now let's get one with just the family. Borrow some of your dresses because you have such excellent taste. You don't mind, do you? My bow's coming home and I want to look my best. There's a cabin in the pond. <laughs> you remember Willard, don't you? So proud of you. Sherry, why don't we have our cocktails outside? Good idea. If y'all excuse me a minute, Mama. Three 
extra mouths to feed. What am I gonna do? Just make the best of it, Mama. Oh, no. Don't worry, Mama. Everything's gonna be just fine. Six holes in Braddock. In a day or two, we'll know whether or not they come in. They'll come in. <clears throat> Could you pass the turkey, please? Why, Sheriff Simmons, didn't you just tell me this morning that you're allergic to turkey? Well, I... Allergic? I never knew that. There's nothing to be ashamed of, Sherry. Tell him. Yes, that's right. Is that your automobile, Willard? Oh. Sam's. Mine's green. I'm sorry, Willie. Did you say you have a green car? Oh. I love green cars. No, he said mine was green. Don't talk with your mouth full, Digger. Well, what, what happened to your green car? Um, <clears throat> wrecked it. Oh, Lord. No one hurt, I hope. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Only Digger's pocketbook. Oh? You know Digger. Luckiest man alive at a card table. Down by Austin, he won enough in one night to buy that car for cash money. Drove it out of the showroom. Went over to the hotel to get his picture took. Then after that, had his usual quart of whiskey. Heard a train in the distance and hurry up, drove to the railroad crossing. Oh, Lord. Figured he could beat the train. Couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> that green car got drugged about 500 feet. Looks like a smushed can of peas. And when it finally stopped, Digger got out, not a scratch on him. <laughs> you were insured, weren't you, Willard? No, sir. Wait a minute. Sherry, you had plenty of turkey last Christmas. And don't you remember how she stayed away from you for days after? Because she had pimples all over. Little squishy ones with white heads all over her body. Right, Sherry? Tell him. Right, Sherry? Right. Got a reputation, Willard. Oh, I suppose I should be calling you Digger. I have to get used to that. And we're all so puffed up with pride. Oh, thank you, Ellie. You know what I think about a lot? What? That night, the last night before you left, the night you broke your wrist, do you remember? I remember it. I remember it all too well. The night you came to my bed? Uh, the night I came to your bed. I, you told me that you loved me. We were such children and babies then, weren't we? I did love you, Ellie. Well. You still love me, Willard? Just sit down a minute, Willard, and listen to me. Just listen to the words. I've always loved you, Ellie. I know. Oh. Well, that night, remember how young I was? Well, I felt things I never felt before, and it scared me because I didn't understand them. I love you as much now, more. Well, since then, I've come to understand that what I was feeling was the birth of real love, adult love. You made me feel womanly feelings. You started me on the way of being a woman, and then you left. Well, I left you because I loved well, you. Well, they now would you hold on, I, okay, mm -hmm. Willard? Sorry. You left, and you became a success, so it was all for the best. But I've been waiting for you, Willard. Well, good, because I'm here. No, I'll tell you when, for God's sakes. Okay, listen, please. Mm -hmm. You know that I want you to finish what you started that night. Willard. Damn you!
you, Willard. Don't you dare fall what? asleep on me when I'm saying I'm these things to you. I'm sorry. Now, oh. we belong together. I know now that we do, just like you've known all along. And the sacred thing will bind us together. It'll make us one. Your mother's looking for you. you better go home. How long you've been standing oh, out there? Oh, he's dead to the world anyway. You peeping, Tom? What are you doing out here? Well, I came to fetch you, man. Come on, boy. Yeah. You got no right. Everybody could pretty much figure what you were doing tonight. Even your mama. What do you mean what I was doing? Who are you to say what I was doing? Oh, just a stranger sees a young girl trying to save her home for her folks, that's all. That's a lie, you snake. Open the door for me or what? It's okay, honey. We're still decent. <clears throat> we may not be for long. <laughs> Come on, get you on. Know. I'll tell Digger you need to see him. He's sober, that okay? Don't you tell him anything. You don't know anything. Whatever you say, Kitty. Don't you dare call me cutie. your big chance, boy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you make the best of it. Ah. She wants you. Well, let's just say she needs you. Who cares why? You can have her. Have to tie your hands behind your back, tape your mouth shut, and do it. Make sure that you don't mess it up. I'm gonna give you all the help I can. Uh... But if you do find a way, Digger Barnes. If you do mess up, she's mine. We can talk about it later. <laughs> what do you say? That's a good idea. Somebody broke into my room. Yeah? They steal all your money? No, just my whiskey. Strange thief. I need a drink. Let's go buy some. It's Sunday. Too bad, boy. You got any liquor in your room? Nope. Sam doesn't either. Why don't you try living without it? I'm gonna go get some. You! Yeah. You've been talking about Ellie Southworth ever since I knew you. For the first time in your life, you're telling the truth. Now you got a shot at her. Yeah. Ain't that great? It's only great if you stay sober. <laughs> Come here! Now listen to me, Barnes! You're the worst drunk I ever knew. And by that, I mean you can't hold liquor. You're bad when you're drinking. Everything bad you ever brought on yourself happened when you were drunk. No, I'm getting sick and tired of you trying to live my life for me. You want me to leave you alone? You just say the word! Say no, Digger. You would be nowhere without me. I don't need you. You need me. Look, you've been a great help. Digger, you just but... stay the hell out of this!
I am sick and tired of you two ganging up on me, telling me that I can't handle myself. You can't! You gonna get me a drink or not? Huh? Okay, I want out. Okay? You're such a, you're such a big old man, then buy me out. You got nothing to sell. What well, nothing? To, I got my shares of those six holes. I'll tell you what. Don't do it, Digger. Don't mess up, boy. Call it. My shares for yours. Don't call it, Jock. He's always lucky again. Heads. That's good. Give them the last oil wells you'll ever own. Digger. I'm getting a drink. I've had enough of him. <clears throat> Those wells come in, I'll send him his money. But I'm through with him. Well, why would you send him? Send him his shares. You, you won fair and square. Because Jock wasn't gambling for oil wells. He was gambling for his lady. Willard? Guess you have to find another buyer. Buyer for what? Everything's gonna be just fine. We don't have to sell South Fork. You tell him that, Mama. Do for it. I wanted to apologize for socking you. Is that why you came here? 
Yeah. Okay. I accept your apology. Now you can go home. Maybe I don't want to go home. I ought to tell you, I ain't buying today. Who says I'm selling? Because you're not the kind to give anything away. Can't you? You think this is easy for me? You can help me a little, you lousy bastard! Send me home now, aren't you?
do this again. How you feeling, Daddy? Never better. Well, you never look better. Well, you know what they say. You know how to tell when a Texan's lying? How? Oh. Look at his lips. If they're moving, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you've looked better. But you don't look too bad. You're not worrying about South Fork, are you? Not at all. You're a good Texan, Daddy. Ellie, we will either save South Fork or we won't. What we can't do is throw away our pride to do it. Now, I know what you're trying to do, Marion Willard, to save the ranch. It's not worth it. Willard? Oh, oh golly, well, I could never take Willard seriously. Besides, I'm, um, I'm seeing Jock Ewan now, you know, Willard's friend. Now, you just rest and you don't worry about a thing, because everything's going to be just fine. Head, Jack. There's nothing to scratch about. Didn't you know how babies were made? Yeah, but I didn't think. I you... know you didn't think. That's why you gotta marry me. A what? You've got to marry me. Lady, I don't gotta do nothing. No. I guess you don't. Wait a minute, Alice. Uh... Ellie. Come on. Come on. Now listen to me. So I'm going to have to get a divorce. Into hours. The hours pass into years. And she smiles through her tears. She murmurs love. The lady's name is Ellie. I think you'd like her. They tell me you're not going to get any better. But I hope they're wrong. I'm not saying what, I, what I'm doing is right. All I'm saying is, I know I gotta do it. And I promise I will always take care of you. Always.
What is it? Jack Ewing. Oh, thank the Lord. Why do you look like that? What are you thinking about? Of ways to make his life miserable. For a while. Daddy, you didn't say yes, did you? Not without talking to you first, no. Good. Because I don't think this oil man is really our kind of stuff, you know? Now, wait a minute, Although woman. Although I think, I think we might be able to work with him and bring him up to our standards. Texas that I am going to see. <laughs> Nobody else could miss her, not half as much as me. She cried so when I left her, it like to broke my heart. And if I ever find her, we never more will part. She's the sweetest little rosebud I Texas ever do. Done. You can't talk about your Clementine and sing a Rosalie. Don't talk to me about Jock. Jock, you and ain't no old man. All he was was lucky. He was lucky to be with me when he was wild catting. I found the oil. I, I had the, I had the, I had the nose. I had, had feel. Knowing, knowing. And I shared it all with Jock. Because we was friends. Is why. After their dramatic playoff victory over the Dodgers, has another thought. Let's speak of the devil. Go on, Jock, tell him. Tell him how we was friends. How we shared everything we found with my nose. How you stole it all. Including my girl. Digger. Glad we caught up with you. Why? We heard you could use a friend. I got friends. I'm doing fine. Never better. I'm glad to hear it. Willard, there's still a small piece of South Fork that oh, belongs to you. Well, I don't want it. Listen to the man, Don't dear. tell me what I have to listen to. It's good land. You can farm it easy. I can get some of the hands to help you whip it into I shape. I said I don't want it. God's sake, man, why don't you let somebody help you? Not from you. You kind of help me stealing from me. Come on, Jock. We'll hold it till he wants it. I'm never going to want it. Tell you what, how much is it worth? I don't know, a thousand maybe. Then will buy it from me. You don't want to do that, Digger. Don't tell me what I don't want to do. He'll go for it. I'll check it. Uh, some oil deals, I could use the cash. Come on, is it mine or is it mine? Buy it from me. G give me the deed so I can sell it to somebody else. Charles, bring that truck around, would you? Huh. Give him the money, Aaron. He's hopeless. What you want to do, huh?
job. You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You still tried to kill me. Can you believe that? Did you call the police? No. Well, I'll do it. That imbecile ought to be put in jail. I decide whether or not to call the police. And as for him being an imbecile, I can call him that and you can't. Because if it weren't for Digger Barnes, you wouldn't be some fancy lawyer in Dallas. You'd still be sharecropping potatoes. Ben Benjamin. It's always good to see you. Glad you can make it. I'm okay. You all right? I'm okay. I know why I did it. I might not even blame him for it. But why now? Why today? Did you ask him? He's so drunk, he probably doesn't even know himself. But why now? Why today? Hey, Digger! How come you end up to you and barbecue? Uh-huh. Very funny. He didn't mean that to be funny, Digger. We thought you and Jock Ewan was partners. You know, you'll have to tell us that whole story someday now, you hear? Have a good holiday, Digger. Hey, did you get them soil samples over to Miller? Huh? You were supposed to deliver them yesterday. Oh, yeah, well, I never got to it. Yeah, we'll get to it now. Today is a holiday. Take them over there, Barnes, unless you want every day to be a holiday. Go on, cut across South Fork. Nobody will see you. You're off the barbecue. My daddy promised your daddy a parcel of land, and when your daddy died, my daddy said you'd get it. Willard, we still got a piece of South Fork that belongs to you. I don't want it. I'll tell you what. I'll sell it to you. You don't want to do that, Digger. Don't tell me what I don't want to do.
guess we'll never know. Garrison and Curry. Oh, yes, indeed. You know, my husband. He just up and enlisted and left me alone with Maureen. Liv, I have to see if he's okay. Don't you want to know if he's okay? I hope he's dead! I hope they're both dead! I hope he's dead! I want to go home! There's no real damage done, Maggie. You don't have to go home. Really, you don't. Gary, Junior, take these children to the play area and see that they have a good time. Wait a minute. I ain't taking this kid anywhere. You see that he has a good time, Junior. Like the good host that you are. <laughs> Shut up with your father. You fit for you. How did he get this way, Miss Ellie? I'm his sister, but I was raised by the nuns. You grew up with him right here on this ranch, more a sister than I was. You probably knew him better. Maybe you know why it turned out like that. It's all right, you don't have to answer. Questions like that can't be answered. Kids gonna end up like. Thank you. 